And we are live. Hi, welcome in everyone. In this video, I'm going to go into how to get your FICO score under control, how to fix it, uh, what available options are there out there for you if it gets better, what types of business loans can you get approved for, uh, maybe how to avoid using your personal FICO credit scores instead of using business credit. So that's what I'll be talking about in this video. I'll give this room a little bit of time to warm up and then we'll get into it. Uh, but in the meantime, while we're waiting, if you would like to get faster access, if you need help getting business funding, please refer to the bio, click the link, one or two forms down, submission contact form, click, and then it'll bring up a web page where it'll ask for some simple details on your funding details and then just fill it out and then I'll get in contact with you. Um, and if you're watching right now and I haven't gone back to you, I will soon. I've been uh, feeling pretty sick. So I'm going to keep this video a bit short. I have my notes on screen right now. Put them into a Google Doc. Um, these are things that I've done myself personally. Uh, things that I know work. So I put them all again into a Google Doc. Um, you can't see it here obviously because we're on TikTok and I don't have the screen on the other side. But I'm going to be going over how again to improve your FICO credit score. But listen... You got to ask yourself, why do you want to improve your credit score at all? Even if it's just business credit, why do we want to get on a better pay, pay tick scale? Or why do we want to uh, lower our debt to income ratio? Just uh, hanging out, just got home uh, actually like 20 minutes ago, man. I uh, went to go get a COVID test and I'm unsure. We'll get my results here soon. Hopefully it's a uh, negative, but uh, it's not stopping me right now from doing this. And again, I'm going to keep it short, right? I have to take that into consideration, but I wanted to pop up here uh, spontaneously. So we're going to give this a little bit of time again to warm up. Um, yeah, I have been, I can feel a little congestion in the throat and I can, I've been having to cough a little bit and a bit of a runny nose and a few other not severe symptoms, but it's showing a little bit. Good question. So you opened up a company six months ago in the trucking industry and you want to apply for a loan. Can you suggest something? Okay. Uh, so what type of, uh, what do you need specifically to use your funds for? Where is it going for? Like a, like a truck, uh, some type of equipment financing, leasing situation. Um, if you can give me a little bit more. <coughs> but we're going to talk about, <clears throat> excuse me. We are going to talk about, okay, a truck. Then in that case, um, I have to look at a few things. Uh, the funding amount you're requesting, your time in business. Uh, listen, the best way to do this without taking too much of this time to speak over that because I want to get into the, the topic here I have on my doc. Uh, make sure if you haven't yet, go to the bio, click the link. Uh, one or two down, it says funding submission form. Uh, fill that out what you would like to apply for, what type of funding, and it's going to be between you and I. I'll evaluate it, I'll uh, analyze it, and then I'll give you a proper answer via email. That'll be the fastest way at the moment. I'm not going to get into all that right now uh, because I do want to, I'm limited on time right now. So there are many things you can do to fix your FICO credit score. Uh, but let's start off what you shouldn't do. And this is something that I've been asked for a lot. I can't answer that again. I'm not going to get into in the detail I, I know, I, and maybe at another time I would have done this in the live, but I have, to, I have to, I want to get going with this. So again, the fastest way would be go, uh, get a hold of me is to go to the bio. Uh, but to fix your FICO credit, sorry, we had a pause there, I'm losing battery. But to fix your FICO score, what you shouldn't do, what most people think is I need to figure out how to fix, uh, make these payments much faster, or I need to jump on top of this and um, do some type of a fast, quick effort type of thing that's actually, it's gonna harm it. It's gonna backfire on you and you're gonna end up getting into a bigger like hole that you can't really dig yourself out of. So if your credit score isn't where it wants to, where you want it to be, only doing things that are too fast, um, just trying to maybe, uh, you have very huge payments, you're trying to pay too fast, um, when you've already gone over to the utilization rate and you're just trying to fix things like this out of the blue, 
can really uh, go against you. And I've, and I've seen it in a lot of cases. So again, if you're just tuning in, I have my notes here that I will be going through and I've been feeling a little you know, sick, so I'm not gonna take up too much time. Now, some of the things you wanna do, and this is something that uh, I had a person ask me about a few days ago. Uh, you know, I have something of an error on my FICO credit score. Can I dispute it? Ob yeah, yeah, you can. The obvious answer is yes. Uh, you just got to communicate that with the credit bureau, whoever that is. Uh, we're talking about Experian. Make sure you go and communicate this. Um, send some information in. Some basic things. I won't get into detail. Um, I have that in a different document of like what you could say and get in there and uh, try to fix this in disputing it. But that's a whole other subject of its own. So I want to move down this list. Number two, pay your bills on time. That's a no-brainer. And that's why I put this one at the very top. Uh Everything we look at when you were trying to get a business loan, any type of financing, lending, what would they look at? The credit score, right? And so we want to make sure that you're making your payments on time for your bills, uh, anything from home, a different uh, building, maybe in an apartment complex, or maybe you own something else. Are you making these payments that are coming through on time? Or are you um, going over that time and, and not making them? Or you're paying them just too late? Maybe you have some type of an extension. It's just a pattern that tends to happen over and over again. Um, and then the creditors just end up looking at the information. And well, of course, you're going to get docked down. Um, and, and that might not even be you using a higher utilization rate over like that 30 or 35 percent. So that's what you have to be careful of. So that's number one under uh, paying your bills on time. And just to add a few notes on that is, you know, any delinquent payments, no matter if they are one day after, a little late, that can cause a huge reduction in your score. And this can knock you down quite a bit. Uh, it's one thing that your utilization rate is too high and I've seen that because it's happened to me where I just went over the credit limit with a certain credit card that I had and it just like I looked at my account and I, and I also went on a trip once to uh, uh, New York and all this and I was making these payments and things that were happening and I was like whoa how did I drop down over 100 or so points and it's so simple like something to fix but you just overlook them um, and these can have negative impacts on your FICO scores. So you can use these payment reminders through your banks or online portals if there are there is an option for you to uh, pay more attention to them. And you're looking at this stuff on a daily basis, making sure your tracking is very important. And that's the key component to all of this is yeah, you're continuously like day in, not every single day, but um, at least a few times a week. If you, it depends on the person. So it depends on if you have, you're in a more severe situation as opposed to somebody maybe who's in the middle or somebody who's doing just well and they don't have to worry about it as much, um, the person who's on the end over here will have to check it up once or twice. Um, even more usually is what happens per week <clears throat> and making sure you're making these uh, payments on time um, and you're spending more of your, uh, your days looking at the utilization, how much debt you're taking on and you start to think about how can I minimize the risk um, and you start to begin to think, okay, what are the ways that um, I can get approved for business funding, even if I have all this, you know, debt to income and, and what's happening. Um, so if you have missed payments, please get current. I know that's very standard. Um, and stay on top of your payments. Don't miss out on them. So this is one that's very simple. And I put a few notes underneath here, but we're going to look past that. Um, also, be aware that paying off these collections amount uh, account will not remove it from your credit report. So it will stay on your report for at least seven years is what you're looking at. So if you're having trouble making these ends meet, contact your creditors or see a legitimate credit counselor. So th don't think that this is gonna help you rebuild your credit score because you're doing this. You're contacting the creditors and automatically they're gonna say, oh, well, I disputed something. Um, even in the case of a dispute, it can still take some time for your credit to bounce back up. Don't think because you just, it's not in your fault. Maybe you had it. And I've had a lot of cases where business owners are like, well, I had my family members take care of this. They made uh, unrealistic or bad purchases and it hurt my account. Can you really help me? Um, and one thing you have to keep in mind is when you fix your credit score, it opens up doors when you're getting business funding, not only for business funding, but for many other purposes. So let's say you're in the range of 580. You have a 580 FICO credit score, but you want to get to 
uh, let's say a 600 because a 600 maybe you get offered more funding or two you could take a different type of service whereas opposed to if you had a bad score over here we could probably only offer you a lump sum of cash maybe at a higher rate um with less ter uh, less term length and then over here on the um when you get the 600 maybe we offer you better terms we lessen the rate we can increase the terms uh, maybe we can keep the terms the same and, and keep the rates uh, lesser. But what ends up happening is sometimes you don't need a lump sum and you would rather get a business line of credit. That's where a lot of people are on the fence on is like, if I can get the lump sum, great. But if I can get a business line of credit, that's what I actually want to do. But what hinders you is the credit score. If it's not like 600 plus and above, then, you know, I have a few people who I'm going to be speaking to in a few weeks from now who are like around the 580, just below 600. And they're trying to get it up to that 600 so they can qualify for a line of credit. They can use that funding whenever they need. They can withdraw. Um, but it's not always because of credit. There could be reasons you just need a lump sum. It's, that's not the only case. So uh, reduce the amount of debt you owe. So this is a very big one. So your credit utilization or it's the balance of your debt to available credit. In other words, if it contributes 30% to a FICO scores calculation, then uh, you just got to be careful you're not over utilizing that amount um, and there are different credit limits for different purposes you're using them for so it can be easier to clean up that payment history but it requires financial discipline and understanding that uh, these types of tips that I'm going to give you right now in a second so uh, no brainer make sure you keep your balances low uh, don't go above your utilization don't even match where the utilization is at the percentage you know, 30% and above, you don't want to go too much. And then uh, it's just a matter of, it, it, it could be a big payment, it could be a smaller payment, but all it takes is you going over and you do it consistently with low uh, low payments, things you're buying, uh, and even a bigger purchase at that, and it just wipes you out. And then you're going to have to start all over again. So you have to be careful of that. And it can negatively impact you. Pay off debt rather than moving it around. So the most effective way for you to improve your credit score in this section or in this area that we're speaking about is just by paying down your revolving credit or card or the debt that's uh, associated with it. And again, I'm reading off of my uh, doc that I put together here for you. So in fact, owing the same amount, but just having fewer open accounts may lower your scores. So come up with a payment plan that puts most of your payment budget towards the highest interest cards first. Let me say that again, just so you guys heard of me right. Come up with a payment plan that puts most of your payment uh, budget toward the highest interest cards first while maintaining a minimum payment on your other accounts. Okay, So understand the type of credit limit you have. If you have multiple credit cards, uh, how much flexibility does, he, does it give you? How much of it can you actually use versus what you think you can? Um, this is another very important point is don't close unused credit cards as a short-term strategy to raise your scores. I've seen this all across the board, uh, especially with a lot of business owners thinking that that will help, but it's doing the reverse and it can actually hurt you uh, much more. I I've seen those cases. So don't open up several new credit cards. You don't need to increase your available credit. So this approach can actually backfire and actually lower your credit scores. So uh, that's really pretty much what you need to know about. I have some additional notes here, but uh, I don't think I have to go into that. But if you have been managing credit for a short time, don't open a lot of new accounts too rapidly. Uh, it can lower your average account age, uh, which will have a larger impact on your scores if you don't have a lot of other credit information. Let's see my other point here. Do your rate shopping for a loan within a focused period of time. Uh, Re-establish your credit history if you have had problems right now in the past. Maybe you'll think you'll have them in the future. So opening new accounts responsibly and paying them off on time will raise your credit score in the long term. So request and check your credit report. Very common, whether it is personal or it is business credit. Uh, I think we overlook it. We we tend to think, okay, with business credit, we should looking at we should be looking at it more. But it should be both ways. You know, these are operating under two different circumstances so have credit cards but manage them responsibly straightforward i don't have to go into detail there note that closing an account doesn't make it go away okay um, so i've gone through just about more or less all the points that i just made um, and just to kind of wrap things up here because i do want to tie it into what i do which is business loans is whenever you get 
let's say you want a certain type of amount of funding or maybe it's a type of service and right now you don't qualify for like these business lines of credits but you do cap, uh, qualify for emerging cash advance you're just under the 600 you know FICO credit score so what you have to do is work on these and fixing what's happening within your FICO credit score and you do that by what you going into your account and you see what amount of debt you're taking and what you're making payments on how can you reduce the debt how can you uh, stay underneath your utilization it's a very standard thing um, and make those payments pay off things before you start purchasing way too many uh, you think because you have all this debt and you're over here thinking well I just got to start making payments on time but I have all this debt reoccurring over here that's just piling up you, you can't let that sit and so you have to be careful making bigger purchases on the type of credit but um, th that really is going to open up a lot of doors believe me making your payments on time it's going to open up your doors for uh, certain types of business funding it's going to get you approved for more it's actually going to help your cause okay so hopefully you got a good amount of value out of this video uh, let's see i'm going to stick around for a few seconds and see if anybody has any questions uh, we're talking about how to improve how to fix how to improve how to spot things in your fico credit score how to improve it how improving it actually opens up your doors to getting business funding uh, and what types of services it can open up right if you have a better you have credit worthiness personal and business credit then great sometimes we're not building any business credit but we want some type of funding we just don't qualify for it and if you guys need help building business credit the right way make sure you guys go to the bio click the link and then one or two or three down it'll say building business credit click there and then you guys can download the free video series um, but all my free resources are in the bio um, at any point if you guys need help make sure to refer to that i have my charger here Let's put this to charge right Okay, I just had to put my charger on. Um, but yeah, that, that'll be everything. Uh, make sure again to refer to the bio. Uh, go to, if you guys want to view more information, make sure to go to the YouTube channel. Uh, submit a funding form if you need business funding or real estate financing. <coughs> I know I've been feeling a little sick for those of you who are just joining me. Um, some of you guys are probably just getting off of work. Uh, and probably just saw me pop up and you guys missed everything but i'll try to upload this later on on youtube uh just let me know how you guys are doing right now give me a, a wave uh, you guys need help getting business funding uh, and what type of business funding you need help with and uh just another thing too is uh, to don't always look down on what you can get qualified for uh, not everybody qualifies for the same thing just because you see somebody else over here who has like a 3% interest rate, that's always not the reality because not everybody will be approved for these types of SBA loans or even traditional bank loans. Um, so you may not get approved for that. It might not even make sense to you. But um, in the online scheme of things, it's usually like a 7% to 100% is what you can expect in annual interest rates or average interest rates, excuse me. Um, and then we just take it from there. Good question. Business is asking, what type of funding can one get if they own a dealership? So I've dealt with this in the past. And it's a very broad question because I need to first look at details. So I would ask you, um, <coughs> excuse me, what, uh, how much funding are you looking to get? I would ask you, you know, uh, what's your actual monthly Revenue, what have you done in the last month and specifically within the last three months? Uh, time in business, what's your credit score? All these details together uh, point me in the direction of what I can help you with. Uh, but I have dealt with a lot of dealerships. Um, I have a lot of car repair, auto, uh, auto repair uh, clients, a lot in the auto sales. The thing with auto sales you have to be careful about. I actually have to respond to one right now in, in a bit. But uh, if you're doing used auto sales, used car sales, um, it's a requirement to have at least 100000 if not 200000 in monthly revenue, at least within the last three months. But that's, again, used auto, um, you know, car repair and auto repair any of, of any type. Uh, it's, it's standard qualifications. But 
the best way to do it, go to the bio, click the link, one or two down, it'll say funding submission form. And then it'll bring up a web page that I created and then fill out some simple funding details. Submit it. It'll come to my email. It'll be between you and I. I'll uh, analyze, evaluate, and then give you a proper uh, response via email and I'll notify you uh, via text. That'll be the fastest way for me to know what you can qualify for. Um, that's what everybody's doing and, and it's the fastest way and best way to do it. Um, I won't go into home buying. I'm not going to touch that subject today. Um, I know I've had people in the past come in here. Uh, I try to want to keep it strictly business loan related. That's what I'm covering at the moment. Uh, so I don't want to give up much advice with new home buyers. Uh, I know there's a lot of people who are like, should I buy a home underneath business credit, my personal? And uh, it's going to be a huge topic that uh, we could speak at another time if you'd like to email me that. Uh, what specific maybe uh, problems you're going through or what are your thoughts? No, I'm not saying buying a home is not a business. I'm just saying there are it's a broad range of what that can fall under. And that can lead down a lot. And so it's not like I'm saying it isn't. But I want to keep this topic here business loan related. So if anybody has any questions pertaining to business loans, then let me know. I'm just reviewing my comments at the moment. And if you're just joining me, uh, I just finished talking on the subject of FICO credit scores um, and how, what to look out for, how to fix them, uh, how to get better about them. And then when you improve it, what can you qualify for? Um, and again, I'm keeping it in terms of how you can get business funding um, for this certain spot. Um, and I do uh, also as well get into real estate financing with... Uh, getting that kind of funding uh, as well. I have a few people right now uh, who actually need to get real estate funding for their properties, but that's what I'm keeping it at. So we have a few people up here, user 173. And again, I am feeling a little sick, so I'm gonna end up, you yeah, have rental properties, nice, okay. Yeah, see I'm, uh, that's, see, I'm not gonna go too far into, like I said, I'm at the end of this video. Uh, I wasn't planning on being here that long and I can ask question after question. I did that earlier with an individual when I was out. Um, so I'm going to just like relax for a bit. But if you need help with getting more rental properties underneath you, um, whatever that looks like, it's OK. No worries. I, I saw you too walk in, but I, I don't normally just like not help like this. It's just uh, I'm feeling a little sick and then I, you caught me at the end of the at the video here where I was talking about FICO credit score. So I'm going to take a break, go eat. And then, uh, it, you know, if you pop up in my email, if you want to go submit that uh, real estate funding form in the bio, uh, it'll ask you about 10 questions. Um, and I actually have a rental real estate form. That might not be the one. So once you submit the details for the real estate financing, uh, then I can go ahead and maybe email you the, the rental real estate and we can get some more information on how to help you. But like I said, again, I'm uh, going to close up here. I had a quick burp there it is again uh, but if you guys need help make sure you guys also go to the bio and then click on the the youtube icon you guys can view any videos type in like real estate um, i have some things on that and uh, how to get the best help appreciate it thank you uh, i had a go give I, for those of you uh, i put a little picture on instagram and had some people respond back like uh, i put I went to go get my, you know, that nose swab. They have to put it up here in the nose. I was like, well, how do you, how do, you do this? I'm like, they were telling me you have to put this in the nose. I'm like, it doesn't go in your mouth. And just been around a few people who have been sick, like the parents, they've been sick. So when I see them, it's like, oh. But um, yeah, no, that'll conclude everything in this video. Uh, again, lastly, I'll reiterate it just so you guys know. Uh, if you guys go fill out a funding form, Please be serious. I, I'm not saying you are. What I'm saying is so many people, they go fill out this funding form and they forget about it. I have people today who are like, why didn't you get back to me? Well, did you ever look at the email? Like I said, hey, I said, make sure to please check your spam box. You've seen my other emails where I told you that, but you haven't checked it. So it just doesn't mean it's important enough to you. Or you just uh, in another way, maybe you're just really busy, but it's still no, no excuse. 
um, and it's it's about being punctual. So um, it matters as much to me as it does to you that you know I get to know you, and I also get to know what you need for real estate financing, what you need for your own business businesses. And, and I take my time with these forms and I take my time to give you a proper response. So I, I at least, you know, I hope you can reciprocate that. Maybe not match the energy. I just hope you can reciprocate that. All right. Thank you guys. Have a great day or have a great night. <laughs> Bye.